Welcome back to some active for boyfriend holiday star. We're in a deep moment, very deep moment indeed. Ryota confessing their deep love for me. Me. The female human I am living in a pigeon's body. It's a hard life. I know local better than anyone. I know what she loves and what she hates. What she's good at and what she isn't. I know everything about her. But I don't anymore. Nageki. Nageki knows a local that I don't. And that just... And not just in this dream. She spends more time in the library every day. If someday I stop being special to her, for that matter, maybe I just thought that I was special to her. All this time to her, I've been nothing but... Wow, wow, wow. What a pickle. If I've been reading the signs right, Nageki and local aren't quite to the point where Ryata should be worrying. But his fears are going to get more and more likely by the day. I need to pick my words carefully. How can I coax this young man's heart back into the real world without breaking it? Persuasion to maximum! Um, oh shit, I got a decision. What is special? Oh, believe in local, believe in... Believe in Miss Pigeon. Believe in local, Ryota. You're just jumping at shadows. What do you mean? They aren't really a couple. I've had a thousand loves. I could tell at a glance. I... I would like to think that, but... He looks just as troubled as before. Shoot. That wasn't what was worrying him. What I'm trying to say is, um... You're clearly a favourite, Ryota. What do you know about local, Yoya? Do you think you understand every woman in the world? Just because you always skip class to go around town hitting gills? That's a little harsh, isn't it? Not that I can exactly explain myself now. It would take too long. A casual here today. Gone tomorrow, bird, like you can't even comprehend the depths of my relationship with local. We've been together. Forever. I know local better than anyone. And the same goes for her. She knows me better than anyone else in the entire world. We have always been one. Into. And I won't let that end now. We also just became a king. His Royal Highness the King. There is no way back to your old home. Your home is the holiday star now. Everyone's home is the holiday star. Welcome my new friends. My new kings. Happily ever after. Oh what the fuck? Motherfucker gave me game over. Right, we're loading it back up. We're gonna go for the different choice. Let's just speed run through here. Oh my goodness. Or I'd never believe in local. If ever there's an option in a video game saying believe in local, don't press it. It just goes all wrong. What is special? What exactly do you mean by special? Something irreplaceable. I don't really understand myself. But at the very least, to me, local is local. And no one can ever take her place. So that's it. What are you ever afraid of then? No one ever be replaced, Rota. You'll never stop being special to local in that respect. It's as simple as that. You don't think I'm trying to fool you or anything, do you? That's true, I guess. But that's not it. I'm scared that I just won't be with her as much any... Of course not. You can't stay children forever. Dot 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 exclamation mark. I feel like writing me off as a heartless bastard yet. But ignoring me won't change anything. Time will pass and places will change. The first flowers in spring, the shooting star, the rainbow right after a storm, all beautiful and none can be captured and held forever. No matter how far, how fair the flower, it will rot and fall to pieces if you never let it go. But memories will never hurt you. The flower withers, the star falls and the rainbow fades away. But you will always remember their beauty. Are you telling me to go on alone with nothing but my memories? That's a little pessimistic. What I'm saying is, 
Don't let your fears for tomorrow cloud the memories you're making today. That's too abstract for me, I don't think I understand. How long is he going to keep floundering around? I'll have to be a little more clear. Maybe you'll be an unrequited, unrequited lover. Or maybe you'll live and have a family with local. Or maybe you'll go your own separate ways. But whatever happens, all the time you've spent with her, all the joy you've had, will still be yours. That just makes it even worse. How could I live without the sun, now that I'm so used to its warmth and light? I'm scared, Yoya. I don't want to see everything I know collapse around me. This is pretty bad. I've been taken in for a quiet metrosexual, but maybe it's really into the whole total monopolization thing. And as far as I can tell, Miss Local herself hasn't got the slightest idea all this is going on. What a sinfully nedulant lady. Everything changes, words. Time is like that, inconvenient and rude to everyone. Even if you stand still, everything else will leave you behind. No, no matter how hard you try to prevent change, it will still come. The world and your friends will still change. If what you really want is undisturbed peace for the rest of your days, you have to cut all of your ties, leave everyone behind, and become a hermit in the mountains. No, I don't want that. I didn't think you did. Are you planning to ask someone else to stay with you then? That... That wouldn't be right. I couldn't ask for something like that. It would be too selfish. So you think it would be selfish? Aren't you wishes someone would do that for you? Just a little bit. Deep inside? I don't know. Maybe I am. Or maybe you aren't. Right. Aren't you afraid, are you? Everything around us is changing. And so are we. We don't know what's ahead. Doesn't that scare you? There are things that scare even me, yes. Even a hero of justice has its weaknesses. What's waiting for me at the other end of this night? The best day of my life? Or the very worst? No one knows. And that's why, that's why, all we who cannot see tomorrow can do is put on our bravest smiles and march boldly into the new day. Isn't that called bluffing? Ha <laughs> ha suppose it is. All this time I've just been trying to look cool so no one will realise what's going on inside. But what's wrong with putting on a little show? We crapped, we crapped. I have a question for you. There are only two choices. We're running a little low on time, you see. Karaya Ryota. What do you want to do? You could accept the king's invitation and stay here. Nageki would be removed. You would spend eternity celebrating the endless holiday with local. And tomorrow would never come. Nothing would change, and nothing would hurt you ever again. Uh, we're not doing a good job at dissuading him. Or you could refuse the king's invitation and return to the real world. Your relationship with local will change, sooner or later, for better or worse. And a new day will come. Now choose. I won't try to force you either way. You alone can decide what your salvation will be. And in any case, it won't do us any good unless he decides to break free himself. I. Now then, if I remember Nageki's map, right, I should be near the frame room. Wait, we're not going to know what Ryota's choice is? He's got to go, right? He's got to go back to the real world. Probably. But something's bothering me. I've been looking as hard as I can, but I still haven't found it. There was another star below and to the right of the room where we started. Someone must be here. I went to the right, if that map is correct, there should be a route to that star here somewhere. But where? We don't have to worry about getting lost, but this corridor is way too long. It is connecting two stars. There really isn't any way it could not be long. Stop pointing out how futile my complaints are. We're almost there anyway. Beyond that should be... The King's Chamber. Nageki stares at the extravagant door at the end of the hallway and nods. All right, let's get in there with a bang, take out the king with a clang, and knock down the lighthouse with a crash. Looks like you two cleared your half just fine. Yo oh yeah, we went through two rooms. We talked to Okasan, Miru and Kaku, and the Doctor Iwam, and we made lots of cracks in the shell. Though I still don't think the Doctor is really with us. Two rooms after all. Yep, just like on the map. 
I didn't take any shortcuts, but I've only been through two rooms as well. So, I'm afraid I have to go back, mon ami. But we're just a few steps away from the king. We're still one short. I must have missed a room somewhere. Doubt it's the quail. I'll go find the last room as quickly as I can. My mission here is to get everyone out alive after all. And your status as a hero of justice does give you a better chance at spot checks than either of us. Yoya will finish his search and rescue. I'll clobber some sense into the king, and the Geki will destroy the lighthouse. It's the perfect plan. Try not to hurt him too badly, Miss Pigeon. You started it. I was hoping to enjoy our reunion a little more, but we'll have plenty of time for that after we wake up. The king isn't going to be like anything you fought before, mon ami, and he certainly won't be eager to let you pass. But we're low on time. This is the best way. Don't worry, Oya. Nothing can stand before Nageki and me. Ours is a march of destruction and no tender grasses sprout in the charred trail we leave. Speak for yourself, Mr. Sazaki. Itori is blind, and if he's alone, he may be scared. Please help him. Of course. Leave it to me. Back to the mission then. Adio. And as for us, into the Hall of the King. Coming through! Stormtrooper, Captain Local has arrived. You invited us here, and we have come. We want to talk. His Royal Highness, the King. I have a quick sip of tea, the throat's playing up. Mm. Wet the whistle. Hello, I am the King. You rotten royal rapscallion. Your silly fanfare and informal greeting won't help you now. The king asked, Why do you look so angry? The king is scared. The king does not understand. The king does not understand. The king does not understand and thinks he might cry. Your majesty, we didn't come here to make you cry. Please, listen to what we have to say. You won't get anywhere talking to him, Nageki. He belongs in a mental institution. He hasn't listened to anything we've said so far anyway. Come on, let's beat him up already. Dot dot dot. Miss Pigeon, please! Nageki glares at me. I guess he's right. Our opponent is the undead lord of a dead kingdom. Maybe if we talk for a bit, we'll find out something useful. Who are you? The king is the king. I know that. And it's not what I'm asking. The migrant said that this is a place where the souls of the dead wash up. The souls of the dead have gone astray, that is. He said that this false star grows by attracting those souls with its light. Were you the one who created this star? Dot dot dot. If you did, why do you try to trap more people here? Because it is safe here. Safe? This place is fake. It's a fucking sham. This place is the danger. I don't think the king is evil. Sometimes he doesn't seem like anything but evil. No, the king just thinks a little differently than we do. He's doing all this because he thinks he's helping people. Isn't that right? Of course, the king always acts with the good of his people at heart. His idea of what's good is too far away from ours, Nageki. That may be true, but I still want to figure out his motives. It's not very likely. But if we can persuade him without using force, we should tell me, your majesty. Where did you come from? Alright, we're going to find out in the next episode. Yes, indeed. Toodle pip.